My favorite AP style. My favorite AP style is my favorite style. My favorite uh, word in the AP style book. And my favorite Style. One of my favorite AP styles. My favorite style book entry. My favorite part of the AP style book has to be Missouri's abbreviation in Datelines because it is capital M O period. And that's Mo in Datelines, which is me. It's very simple. It's toward. It's not towards, it's toward. And my the reason it's my favorite is because it's so widespread. The world needs to know about toward issues because everyone writes towards. The correct term for a Ziploc baggie, it's properly called the zip clothes bag. So do not ask for a Ziploc. Who knew? <laughs> it's buses, but not this kind of buses. Buses B U S S E S, which means kisses. Sesquicentennial, um, and it's spelled S E S Q I no S E S Q U I. <laughs> C E N T E N N I A L. Sesquicentennial. And it's because of the sesquicentennial swirl at the MSU Dairy Store. Great Britain, because I'm in a class that focuses on the identities of Scotland, and I always forget the difference between Great Britain and the United Kingdom. So this book has helped me out to remember the difference. Hawaii, because it's warm and sunny and tropical and. You use it, you spell it out in Datelines and Stories. It is port and starboard. Port is when it's to your left, and starboard is to your right. Don't use them unless they're in a quote. Paparazzi. pertaining to the Navy. I can hear you. And N-A-V-E-L is your belly button. It's ice storm, freezing drizzle, and freezing rain. Freezing drizzle and freezing rain are synonyms for the ice storms. Um, the reason this is my favorite AP style is because I thought that you had to specify um, like freezing rain or freezing drizzle whenever you talk about precipitation, but you don't because they're only synonyms for ice storm. I am doing the difference between homicide, murder, and manslaughter. Homicide being the legal term for killing someone or slaying someone. It is. Murder is when you kill someone with uh, intent or premeditated, you know, it's just very malicious. I hate you! And I would be dead. Manslaughter is when you kill someone, but there's no thinking, no intent. It's just kind of like, you know, whatever happens. I don't know you. He doesn't know me, but I still died and almost broke this glass. Okay, that's all I have to say about homicide, murder, and manslaughter. See you next time. I'm doing the difference between assassin, killer, and murderer. So an assassin is somebody who kills either a politically important person or a prominent person, such as him. I am Governor Burns. Ah! Oh my Jesus. While a killer is somebody who kills for whatever motive. It's not necessarily a political person, it's just they kill somebody with a motive. Such as this guy. Sue Tresca. I hate you! <sighs> and a murderer is somebody who has killed somebody, but they're convicted of killing somebody. How's it going? Pretty good. <laughs> You're convicted. You're, oh, I, am I convicted? You're convicted. I'm convicted. You're convicted of murder. <laughs> The difference between shell and the will. Well, you shall to express determination. We like we shall overcome, or you and he shall stay. Also, either shell or will may be used in first-person instructions that do not emphasize determination, such as we shall hold a meeting, or we sh hold on, or we will hold a meeting, or we will hold a meeting. For second and third-person instructions, we will use will. Unless determination is stress, such as you will like it or she will not be pleased.